Hey folks, dude here, coming at you on Of Call Things, coming to you on Friday, June 26th. And this is going to be kind of one of those, probably, things you probably might know, you should know, or you, well, you will know. So, all I'm going to tell you guys about today is simply just utilizing other places from which you think probably it's just going to be one of those cultural divides or just sociologically it's just going to overtake you and you'll just be going, um... I don't know what to do in here. Going to markets that cater to and tailor to a specific segment of the population will sometimes reap benefits and dividends of which you will, well, you'll find very, very hard to replace in other ways. Case in point, you go to the Asian markets, there's all kinds of cool stuff there you will probably never find in mom and pop grocery stores or in the big chains. Translation, you will find oddball foodstuffs, canned items, other things for prepping that probably can pay off in huge and major dividends. Case in point, you go to the Latin markets and you go in there and you find a humongous container of spices for literally a fifth to one-tenth the price of like the little dinky bottle of six dollars of, you know, little, little ee, ee, and you're done. No, we're talking the restaurant size boogers, probably for like three or four bucks. Literally, you go to a grocery store and a container of, like, sesame seeds, little little tiny dinky thing, it's like 4 or $5, okay? Literally, that restaurant-sized container, you know, read like the one that's about yay big, big, big plastic, clear container, one of those things of sesame seeds, I still have not gone through, and it cost me literally, like, 3 or 4 bucks. I can't tell you how long ago. Probably should throw it out at this point because it's getting old. But the case in point is, you can buy a ridiculous quantity of stuff for not a lot of cash in the ethnic markets. Case in point, there's going to be some cultural stuff that probably you have to know about. For instance, nor. Nor bullion is huge in the Asian culture. Of course, you see it here in Spanish and in English. So you got some of that Spanish lingo thing going on there. But the nor products are huge. As a matter of fact, this one was actually made in Heche in Mexico. So it was actually made in Mexico. So literally, it's a world market product that is sold. I know I'm getting over flash here because the sun's coming out. But it is a world market product that literally is good stuff. Let me try clicking on my right light thing here. Yeah, it's a little better. So the kicker is you can get these products for not too terribly much money. And case in point, this product alone was like, you know, like under two bucks for, you know, a lot of bullion, okay? Literally, you're going to be making a lot of stuff with a lot of bullion. So in the worst of times, these guys are indispensable. Sodium's high as a kite, but you know what? It's soup base. Very quick and easy. The other thing you guys might want to take into account is, of course, a product called Maggie. Maggie in the world market is unbelievably huge. Maggie in Africa is synonymous with flavoring, okay? Literally, you go into restaurants and there's bottles of Maggie concentrate that they're literally just all their food. They are nuts about Maggie. This one, of course, being chicken, the same as this one. So both of these are chicken bullion. This one, of course, is a product of Guatemala. So you have a Mexican one, you have Guatemala, but you can go all around the world and find Maggie and Nor products. These are indispensable. And if you know what you're looking for, okay, essentially what they say in Spanish, and in English, it's still the French name of bullion, okay? It's not rocket science. So these things are both under two bucks, okay? I literally have gallons and gallons and gallons of soup right here in my hot little hands, ready to rock and roll. And it is insane the amount of stuff that you can make with this stuff ready to rock and roll. And literally, you can take these things, put them in a pouch, put them in a bag, and they are individually packaged. They're set up for the long haul. There's so much salt in them, they really don't go bad. This is awesome stuff to have around. Other products that come into mind? Well, I am a huge sriracha fan. Also, I'm a huge sweet chili sauce fan. How about that Maggie actually makes a sweet chili sauce? And here's the cool part. This stuff is actually from... Mm -mm. It is actually from Thailand. So if anybody's going to get it right, man, that's the stuff. And the other thing that's really cool is if you read these ingredients, 
a lot of that GMO crap and a lot of the preservatives that we tend to really just play with too much in the United States, they don't do in other countries. First and foremost, it costs too much. Simple products cost less. So in this is going to be sugar, water, chili, garlic, acetic acid or vinegar, uh, salt, xanathan gum. Xanathan gum is a fairly not too obnoxious, noisome, and disgusting thickener. So really they're just trying to give this stuff some body, and it does have some body. You can see the seeds floating in there, and this sucker is just saying, drink me. Uh, the kicker is this product was under $2 for this pretty good sized bottle of sweet chili sauce. Oh, I adore sweet chili sauce. This thing on, on anything, oh, especially fish and chicken. Oh, good stuff. I'm going to break up with this one, folks. But do be sure to avail yourself of the Asian markets. You know, get all the good products. You know, all this stuff is out there. It is just asking you to buy it for less versus going to a big chain grocery store or where all the, uh, the Caucasians tend to shop. Don't be a stupid Caucasian. Be a smart shopper. I'm going to break up with this one, folks. Eat good, keep the suffering as always, always. You know it, you love it. Mmm, awesome products for a better price. World market stuff rocks. See you guys. Peace.